Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. Today we're talking about new stuff. New stuff. This is going to be the 25th of May edition mm -hmm. and um, I think we're just going to jump right into it with Melt Cosmetics. <laughs> yes, because that's my most exciting thing. <laughs> yeah. um, Alright, so they are releasing a palette. Yeah, and the Gemini palette. Yeah, a lot of people, okay, they, they said it's coming soon Yeah. and um, a lot of people are saying that because the star sign starts on the 21st, it's going to be released on the 21st. Um, when we are filming this, we're filming a little bit early. Sorry, guys. So it's going to be, if there's any updates, we'll put them on the screen, but, yep. um, it is what it is. If you're listening on the podcast, we'll have updates in the blog, blog post, post with the photos. Yeah. Um, but so people are assuming it's coming out on the 21st. Currently for us, it is the 21st, but in the U S that's tomorrow. Yeah. So we don't have that confirmed but there's been some hints at it so uh it might be already available when you're watching this but i'm super pumped about this so it's i think their first palette yeah i think it might be i don't think they've done a palette before no they usually they do the stacks yeah they do the stacks and uh a lot of people are saying that they love this idea because stacks are sort of you put them in the drawer like with your single eyeshadows and kind of forget about them mm -hmm. whereas palettes you might have more I don't know, pride of place or more inclined to reach for a palette. Yeah. Um, but this is a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. And right now we've seen seven shades. So they're sort of releasing one new one per day, which is why I thought that might have been released a bit later than the 21st, but mm. uh, whatever. Um, but we've got some, like, I'm excited for these colors. A lot of people are also keen for it. It's like a swampy green palette, which... Mm. I'm living for. We're going into winter in Australia. This is perfect for like autumn, winter. Um, and if you're into sort of like green, grungy, smoky eyes, this is great. People have been screaming for greens and blues. So here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And yeah. I'm going to say this is the first palette I've seen or seen sneak peeks of that I am like, okay, I don't care how much it's going to cost. Yeah. I'm buying it. it. Yeah. Because you look at the photos of what people are wearing and it's just so modern. It's so different. And I don't have a palette like this in my collection. I might have single, you know, eyeshadows here or there in, in palettes that might dupe some of these. But I think altogether, this is such a stunning palette. It's like a swamp greeny mustard palette. And I think if you've got brown eyes or you like that smoky sort of look, this is gorgeous so um yeah if there's any updates like if it's already been released we'll put them on the screen mm -hmm. but right now we've seen greens browns blacks uh, or black and then like musty sort of colors and yeah. they are very interesting all right let's talk about kl polish that's another one that at, right as we speak they are sneak peeking a new shade or uh, announcing a new shade of their summer collection um, one per day. Right now we've seen four out of six. So we saw a, a black and white photo of the six names um, and I'm not too sure when these are actually releasing but they're summer colors and yeah. they're, they're releasing soon. The first one that we saw was Mojito which is it's like a palm green and they're mm. saying that it's inspired by mint leaves and uh, I don't, I don't really see it. No, <laughs> neither do I. Uh, it looks more like a forest. Yeah. And it's, de like, and a lot of people say it looks more autumn or fall. Yeah, it's not mint coloured in no. the slightest. No, it's so more like cucumber skin coloured. Yeah, just because it's like green doesn't mean it's mint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, there's also a burnt orange, which once again, a lot of people say this is very fall. Mm. This is called Cha Cha Cha. Um, I love the imagery. It looks really cool. Um, and I like this color, but once again, I'm not seeing the summer just yet. No. But the more recent ones we've seen, I'm starting to see it a little bit more. So we saw uh, a bright, um, so they call it a deep hot pink, and this is Celia, and this is definitely more summer. I'm starting to see the summer vibes here. Um, and then there's this interesting blue color that's a shimmery blue. It's called... Metansis. Yeah. yeah. It's a blue shimmer, blue metallic shimmer with a purple flip. Now I'm trying to, I've been looking at these photos. I can't see any purple flip <laughs> at all, no. but it might just be one of those things that you can't catch on camera. Yeah. Yeah. That does happen yeah. quite often. With duochrome shades. Yeah. Uh, but this image where her wearing that, that looks really summery and fun to me. 
So the two shades we haven't seen yet are Tropicana and Cubana. I'm going to say Tropicana looks like it's going to be a vibrant yellow. I thought that too, yeah. And Cubana, I reckon just in the photos, I reckon they're missing a really vibrant orangey red. Yeah, possibly. So they're my predictions, but as we're talking, there'll be more photos on the screen and probably by the time I edit this, the whole range will be out. The whole range will be out, for sure. All right, so it looks like Colourpop are releasing... 16 new ultra glossy lips with yep. new finishes. So there's prismatic, pearlescent, tinted. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Look, I really like ColourPop uh, lip glosses. So do I. I think they're really nice. And this does feel quite summery. I agree. So this is releasing the 25th of May. So when you're watching this, it should be probably early tomorrow. Um, But I like the idea that they've added in different finishes because the finishes they pretty much have is like a pigmented cream, maybe more of a sheerer cream and a glitter. Yeah. They're the main things that you see. So the fact that they've brought out more of a pearlescent, more of a tint and... um, The prismatic is probably... It's probably got sort of some sort of shift. Yeah, duochrome sort of shift. Um, So we've seen swatches as well um, on the lips. And look, there are some that you can tell are tint. So like Jubilee yeah, definitely looks like more of a tint. Uh, I'm going to say pretty in... I don't know if it's called pretty in or if it's pretty in something. Yeah. That I reckon would be one of the kind of prismatic ones. Yeah, I agree. Um, But yeah, they look nice. Look, I'm all for these because I love the formula of their glossy lips and Mm. more of them means more options. Yeah, that's very true. I'm down. And the claims that they're never sticky is true. They're very, very nice. Yeah, that's why I like Colourpop glosses. They don't fucking get all... Gloopy and yuck. Yeah, Yeah, gloopy and yuck. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, this is a bit of an update for the ColourPop products that we just talked about. So they are releasing the 16 ultra glossy lips uh, that we mentioned and discussed in detail, but they also have a new eyeshadow palette and three cheek duos that are releasing on Friday as well. Now, the eyeshadow palette looks very much like the Fame palette that they brought out um, on the 10th of May, which was a cooler toned palette. This is the same format. It's very similar packaging, um, but it is just a warmer version. So this palette's called Fortune and it's got 16 shades. When they sneak peeked it, they said purples, pinks, rustic red and oranges. New palette, we think yes. Now, when you look at it, you kind of go, Uh, I don't really see those. I see a pink, but it's just pretty much another warm nude palette. So this is releasing on the 25th of May at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, This is all part of their birthday collection. And you can see the three cheek duos here. So it's a contour powder and a highlighter in various shades. So Step Right Up is the lightest, coolest one. House of Mirrors is more of a mid-toned one. And Up the Ante is deeper and has a warmer highlighter. Uh, we'll talk about Jouer quickly as well. Um, they have just released um, lip kits. Mm-hmm. So there's four lip kits available. Now we've got um, La Bay, La Pearl, La Nude, La Rose. Mm. Um, so you can see them here. Um, they've already launched uh, and they're 25 US dollars each. And what they include is a full size lip pencil, um, a mini long wear lip topper and a mini long wear cream liquid lipstick. Mm -hmm. So they all sort of in the same sort of color family. You have a berry one, more of a rosy one, more of a brownie nude, peachy nude, and more of a, not like a true nude. So um, they've released those, which are interesting. I think they sent, uh, I think they sent influencers over to Italy for that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they're saying it's part of the Jet Set collection. So I'm guessing that they're releasing a lot more as well. Mm. Um, they also have released, and this is an update, but I thought we'll talk about it anyway. They also have released the bronzer duos mm-hmm. that we saw previously. Yeah. So there's two shades of that. And then there's also a new highlighter. And the highlighter is a celestial powder highlighter which is like a pink shift. Mm -hmm. So those have all launched. Cool. All right, it's editing cat back again. 
last time for this video, I promise. Um, the Jouet Jet Set Collection, we have seen the full thing. Um, so it is definitely the lip kits and the bronzer duos along with that highlighter. But uh, you'll also see that there is a matte eyeshadow palette, a liquid uh, eyeliner and also makeup bags. So that is all released already. Um, you can buy it on Beautylish, you can buy it on Beauty Bay, you can buy it on the Jouer website. Um, so that is the comprehensive Jet Set collection. All right. Let's go A to Z. All right, let's do it. Beauty Blender have... A, oh, they brought out a dry shampoo for your Beauty Blender. This is called the InstaClean Waterless Sponge and Brush Cleansing Spray. Yeah, so this is an interesting thing. So it's already been released. And mm -hmm. um, what it is designed to do is almost be like a spot cleaner for your Beauty yeah. Blender. So it says it instantly removes surface stains yeah so just be aware that that means that if you've got foundation deep in the sponge it's not going to remove it it's not going to be a deep clean um but it is definitely if you're sort of a makeup artist or not even a makeup artist because you'd have to disinfect it a bit more um it cleans it just on the spot yeah whatever we get it uh it's alcohol free mm. but it's really interesting and because waterless it, it says waterless but I think what it means by saying waterless is that you don't need to add water to okay. use it, yeah. which yeah. I think is a bit deceptive because yeah. waterless sounds like it doesn't contain water, but it's actually <laughs> it a wet a product. Yeah. It's a wet spray. It's just that you don't need I to am, be at the sink for it. I will say this, knowing like how to clean brushes properly, I am curious about how they're doing it without alcohol. And also if you are getting into freelancing or learning like, you know, makeup training and you want to use this on clients. No, 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 no. You could spread disease with this. It, yeah, it's not if it doesn't contain um, alcohol, it's not going to be antibacterial. Yeah. It's just, it's just purely that if you're on the go, on the go and you don't want your makeup bag getting dirty. Yeah. Or if you want to clean the foundation off to then go onto a cream blush or something. Yeah. That's what it's that's for. What it's, it's not for. Yeah. for makeup artistry or any like it's weird yeah look i this doesn't have a place in my life if i want to use a different product with my beauty blender i just turn, turn the sponge to an yeah. area where it's already clean so I do and i never ever 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 in a million years would use a beauty blender like days in a row i always wash mine because yeah. like i don't want bacteria growing on that shit like that's a wet yeah thing that, See, I'm, I'm, ooh. I'm gonna say I'm pretty bad. What I often do is I'll use one side, and then the next day I'll turn around and use, and the, use other side. the other side. Yeah. Um, so I can be pretty bad, but I've got so many of them that I yeah, end up yeah. using five, well, and then washing that's five usually what I do. I'll have like all of mine clean, and I'll use them, yeah, and, and then, then them do them all yeah, at once. Right, yeah. Right. Um, but I mean, if this interests you, then it's there. Yeah. I am really curious about like. The why? ingredients and stuff. I'm yeah. like, why? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't really get that, it yeah, either. That's all right. um, I This meme where it's like, how many days in a row can you use dry shampoo? Asking for a friend. Look, hair and dry shampoo is fine. But makeup tools? Look, I, I think person for personal use, I don't hate this. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to buy it, but I don't yeah. hate it. I can see the point. But if people are starting to see this as being... A sort of way to spot clean your brush for your makeup or your sponge for your makeup kit. kit? Yeah, no, yeah, bro, bro. I, I'd be worried about that. Yep. All right, we got some skincare news. Yep. This is from Bosha. They've got a new cactus water moisturizer. Mm. So it's an ultra lightweight moisturizer. It's got uh, the Queen of Night Cactus, mm -hmm. um, and it's also got aloe vera. So it's like a gel hydrating gel it looks like Great it, for people with oily skin yeah yeah really good so i look besides the jizz face i know photo, green jizz yeah See a doctor about that yeah, yeah besides that uh the other marketing photos really entice me this one yeah. where it's on like the pool by the way oh. this is mint green yeah, this, this is this is mojito green <laughs> i agree i agree uh, but this drop oh look that packaging yeah the texture yeah. i just want to buy it because yeah. it looks really appealing it does it does look nice um okay burt's bees they've got some new high impact liquid lipsticks that are coming you can pre-order these at this current moment uh there's 12 vibrant shades 
Yep, and they're and coming in stores in June. Yeah. So if you want a liquid lipstick from Burt's Bees, there you go. Mm -hmm. These are just like standard colours. You've got some nice nudes yeah. with different undertones, different depths, um, peachy. I like the fact they haven't gone super pink. So do I. Yeah. yeah I think these are nice shades. Yeah. These are all these are all kind of almost my lips but better type shades. Yeah. Or like, you know. I, agree. I mean there's a couple in there that like purple, but Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you've got very deep skin or and and you have a like a cooler undertone. That oh my god, it looks be your so lips good on them. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Li my lips but better. Not but like my exact lip shade, but flattering, very flattering. Flattering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Chanel have added to their range um, fourteen new lip products, and these are all designed to be like really intense. Oh, so um, they've got them in an array of colors. They've got purple. Uh, there's two crayons and uh, two Rouge Allure inks. In nude, they've got the Rouge Allure lipstick and one of the Allure inks. In brown, they've got two crayons, two Allure inks and two lipsticks. And in rosewood, they've got a crayon and a lipstick. So mm. these are meant to be like really punchy colours. Good. Um, and not, you know, not punchy like blue and green, but very um, rich with their pigmentation. Good. So I like that. Exciting if you're into Chanel lip products. Uh, Chaos Makeup. This popped up on the group and I nearly wet my pants with excitement. You don't often comment on the group, but I saw that you commented. I'm like, I know, I, I know. Excited. Honestly, I don't comment on the groups. I am such a lurker. <laughs> I'm always a lurker on the internet. I only comment on things that I'm super passionate about or if I need to tell people off. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is Aqua Sky from Chaos Makeup. It's available now and it is... This is the colour of Jesus. Yeah. Okay. It's a glorious teal. And I'm going to say. Indeed. They describe that perfectly. Oh, it is yes. glorious. Yeah. And there is another new shade, which is very pretty again. This one is Sweet Pea, which is a medium purple to reddish pink shift. Gorgeous. These are 18 US dollars each. In They come in like a large, I think it was 26 millimeter pan with the shell compact. Very cute. Or you can get them in the smaller pans for $9 without a compact. I want the teal. I want the teal too. Yeah. I love, 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 love. Fair enough. All right. There is some rumors that Charlotte Tilbury is coming to Sephora US. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah. Moving on. Yes. Um, we've got our girl Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Tanya. So uh, her brand, Charabella, they are talking about lashes. Yeah. So you can see that they've shown the first one. Yes. Um, which is Killig. Is it Killig? Is Whatever. It <laughs> is it? We should have asked you. Yeah, we, we should have. Um, but yeah, you can see that they're bringing out lashes, lashes. soon. Yeah. So. Which makes sense because Tanya always wears lashes. So. She's glam as fuck. Exactly. She is glam, She's as, glam fuck. as fuck. Yeah. Um, Crayola beauty. It's become a thing. Um, we don't know much information. It's going to be coming soon and exclusively available at ASOS. So if you want to look like you've just drawn mm. with crayons on your face. Yeah, I'm not feeling this marketing image. No. Um, and I really like how Crayola was doing um, collaborations with brands. That really excited me, mm -hmm. especially because they were doing it with like great brands like Clinique. That, yep. Like, you know, look, Clinique has been around for so long because they make quality shit. That's but how you also, stay on the market. Also, like they were with Sally Hansen, and yes. even though Sa Sally Hansen aren't the best nail polishes in the world, for the price range, they're pretty they're, solid. They're great. So, yeah. yeah, I agree with you 100%. I think I liked the collabs mm -hmm. because it was like a nod to Crayola yeah. without it being obvious and tacky. Yes. I and feel like this has gone into the tacky zone. I agree. And the fact that it's going to be stocked on ASOS, I'm just like, oh. That's going to not last very long. No. That's my prediction. It's going to be yeah. gone pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. We've got something new coming from Diviner Cosmetics. Um, all we see at the moment is pink icing coming soon. And we know for a fact that they're eyeshadows. Now, usually she sells them as bundles. Yeah. In like a palette. So we're just going to assume that that's what's happening there. 
But essentially the caption said, so you thought Blue Bitch was a quickie? No, 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 my loves. We have a new Harmony collection coming soon. Yeah, um, and we have seen some colours that they, they've sneak peeked. So this is coming out on the 25th. So when you're watching this, it will come out tomorrow. Um, and we've seen some purple shades, a pink shade, and like a reddy pink shade. Awesome. So um, yeah, in the last bundle, they had a bunch of eyeshadows and two highlighters. This and then the palette as well. Yeah. This might follow suit, but it seems like it's definitely more um, dusty, purpley, pink inspired. Yeah. So there's that. Cool. Um, Dior, we have some sneak peeks here of products that are coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, not a whole lot of information on what they all are, but we've got eyeshadow palettes, brushes, glow face palettes, which would be like highlighting and blush palettes. Um, lip palettes, apparently. See, I see contour palettes. Like, I think there's a lip, like, mm, see the one here under the brush? Yeah. So that's, that's a, surely a face palette. That's not a lip palette. No, that, oh yeah. So yeah, we don't have too much, but it's rumored to be 40 shades of like a face and body type foundation. Yeah. It wouldn't be called face and body because Max is called face and body. So yeah, I'm no, sure no, they're no. not going to They're not the going to call it face and body foundation. But it is designed for face and yes. body. Yeah. Um, eyeshadow palettes, face palettes being a highlighter and blush palette, like a shimmery palette, and then what looks like a matte palette. That could be a lip palette there. And then there's the lip glosses, the lip lipstick gloss things. So yeah. We'll update you more on that. But it's an interesting thing that's coming out. I think yeah. this is a lot more sort of on trend as in highlighter palettes, uh, face palettes. Yeah. Yeah. And it I think is... the the foundations are going to be interesting. Yeah. They, um, I'm not so sure about the bottle, but I think that's just personal preference. Yeah. Drunk Elephant is coming out with something called Bronzy Drops. The end. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, you can keep them. Anyway, they're probably likely, I don't know, if they're self tanner drops. Like those self tanner drops are actually pretty cool that you can add to skincare. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Might be that. It might just be a bronze color, whatever. Whatever yeah. it is. Um, Estee Lauder has launched new pure color love liquid lips in 14 shades. Uh, these are $20 each and they are available now at estelauder.com and it looks like they've got a bunch of different finishes, matte, sparkle, shine, all that jazz. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, we've seen a sneak peek from Rihanna um, and it was it was a it was a funny sneak peek because this was on her Instagram stories and it was just blatantly like here's a photo of my bag. Yeah, I know. It, it, it wasn't yeah. even subtle. It was yeah. just like, look what I've got. Yeah. Um. And so what people are looking at here is a new uh one of her lip glosses. So yeah. uh, they originally just brought out that one universal shade and a lot of people were saying the formula is great. They want to see more colors and people were also saying that in her original um marketing that was sort of sneak peeked when her brand was uh being rumored the person was wearing they was the one to be the, a holographic yeah, yeah the, the one with the ring in the mouth yeah yeah, yeah yeah and so with people are thinking that this is that sort of uh clear iridescent gloss that yeah. that person was wearing so there's more shades or at least one more shade coming soon and we can use it because rihanna, rihanna showed, showed it. it okay okay cool <laughs> Uh, Glossier is coming to Sweden. Mm. That's all we know. Yeah, I think they're slowly rolling out across the world. They very, are. very, very slowly. Yeah, yeah. All right, we've got a new collection from Graceful Nail Polish. Mm -hmm. So it's an indie nail polish that we love to support. Um, and we can say that we will be having, uh, or we have, a Get Swatched video that went up yesterday. Yeah. If all went to plan. Okay, so this is seven nail polishes inspired by the Faraway Tree, which... I remember yeah. reading in primary yeah. school that was Enid Blyton. Yeah. yeah, and um, so it's it's pretty interesting. So all of these have cool names inspired by that, which I'm keen for. This launches uh, today, mm -hmm. so if you wanted it, 
go check them out. Um, but there are some cool shades. There's like I was wearing in the last episode, a few people were asking what my nail polish was. It was Moonface. Oh, okay. Okay, so the shades we have a Dame Wash a Lot. So it's an off white crally with teeny silver hollow glitter and circle glitter in bright colors. So there's that one. Moonface, which is the one I was wearing, is a champagne colored metallic flaky polish. This is like one of those intense pure glitter sort mm. of polishes. Um, so it's similar to Rosy Glow, which was their um, Christmas one that I yeah. loved and bought backups of and yeah. bought for people for Christmas because it was so good. <laughs> so this is the same kind of formula if you liked that, but it's more of a silvery, cool-toned shimmer yeah. rather than a rosy one. Um, we've got Mr. What's-its-name, um, a teal jelly base with ultra-chrome chameleon flakies in navy teal blue with a sp- uh, sprinkling of micro hollow glitter um, and we've got saucepan man which is a thermal that moves from dark to light gray with silver flakes and silver hollow we've got silky which is a mint green hollow with sil- silver shimmer angry pixie which is a red jelly with micro red metallic flakes this one's gorgeous um, and the tree which is a multi chrome that moves from aqua cyan purple and blue so it's pretty cool so that is now available Excellent. All right. So we have some news here from Gillian Dempsey um, launching the 24th of the 5th. So yesterday, cheek tints. Um, so there you go. So Gillian Dempsey, we believe, is a makeup artist. Mm-hmm. And this is like the first release that. So it's like a new brand alert. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you're into sort of cream blushes, um, they look cool. Like this one, if, if they're done well, cream yeah. blushes can be so good if they're done well. Yeah. And most are done badly. Mm. But I'd hope that a makeup artist would know how to do them well. Yeah. You would think so. So there's, yeah, six launching and Sunny is the first one. Excellent. That we can see. All right. We've got a new release from KKW Beauty. Um, they, well, they're releasing two highlighter palettes. So... Look, I asked people if they were excited for it, and most people said it's really fucking boring, and I, I don't blame them. I don't know. Um, it kind of is, though. So. Yeah, it is like, really boring. I. This oh, looks like they've just copied um, Anastasia Beverly Hills circa 2016. <sighs> I know. Um, so this is already launched, or, yeah, already launched by the time you're watching this. Um, there's two shades. One looks like it's lighter. One looks like it's a little bit more bronze. Um, but it is pretty bland. Um, it's sort of in the bland theme of KKW where they're not reinventing the wheel. They're just selling products because they can. Yeah, um, that is, that is 100% the vibe that I get. Yeah. I had, we had someone also comment on updates video on Monday saying that, um, they kind of like seeing sort of more non-trendy products being released because, um, you know, not everyone is into what's trending yeah and i have to say like i sort of disagreed with that in a sense that this is sort of like the stuff that we talk about as being not trendy it's just it's already out it's already on the market if you wanted it there are multiple brands where you can buy it yeah so it all almost becomes like why did you bother and that's how i feel like yeah i've heard a lot of what i hear about kkw makeup is that it's not really the best quality. And when you're like bringing out something like this, it's like, mm, what's the point? I could go and buy like a $10 NYX palette. Why the fuck would I pay KKW yeah. prices? Yeah. And that's what it comes down to. Like, I think what brands should do is release, like she's got um, like face palettes that have bronzers, contours mm. uh, and highlighters in it. You kind of go, if you've already sort of got that, why do you need to bring this out? There's no mm-hmm. real point. And when we talk about something's trending or something's ahead of the trends or something's really current, um, it doesn't mean that it all has to be the same. It just means that it has to be a little bit different from what yeah. we've seen a thousand times before. Mm-hmm. So I think the brands should push themselves and try to release wearable but either trendy or ahead of the trend mm. or products that are missing from the market. Yeah, that's Not what things I like that have to been re- this is recycled. released a thousand times. Yeah. yeah. If you wanted it, you could have, yeah, you could get it in any price Anywhere. point. Anywhere. Exactly. Any price point, you, you can You want get to this. spend big bucks, go buy Chantecaille. You want to spend little bucks, go drugstore. Yeah. And but you will find this. At the end of the day, like this just does not look like anything special or exciting. And, if you've brought a highlighter palette, you probably already have something like this. Yeah. Like, 
This is recycled makeup. If these were in circle pans, I would have thought that they're Anastasia, Anastasia. Beverly Hills. Yeah. yeah, yeah, from three years ago. Are they ago. saying that any of these are creams? I don't know. I don't okay. think so. I think they're all powder. Look, they're showing some broken pans, and yeah. they all just look like powder. Yeah, they're not. Okay, if it yeah. was cream, that would be a bit different for her range. But it's, yeah, I think it's just all powder. Yeah, we have a new collaboration uh, between Longcom and Proenza Schooler. Um, so. Proenza Schooler is like a women's designer mm -hmm. brand uh, and they're getting together to create a little collection and really don't know much information about what's here. But the packaging looks cool. The packaging looks really cool. So I'm assuming like palettes of some sort, lip products, um, potentially an eyeliner and some sort of face product. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we don't know too much. But it's coming in August and uh, we will keep you updated on what's there. Looks like there's also brushes. Oh, they've the got mats. the juicy shakers. juicy shakers. I don't know what these pointy things are. They've but got them here with something on the end. I would say that, okay, I reckon those these, are definitely eyeliners. Yeah, for sure. And the bottom ones, I reckon it's a lip liner or a um, crayon type product with a... With a gloss, maybe. Yeah, a gloss yeah. or something like that. There's also nail polishes. I don't know what this round compact is. We'll find out. We will. Eventually. We will. All right, Laura Lee. So she was doing the sneaky sneakies and it backfired on her. <laughs> this is so she, good. Uh, she was showing on, is it Snapchat? Yeah, I think that's yeah. Snapchat. Um, that she's already working on new liquid lipstick shades. She showed three different shades. And then she was pointing. She was pointing <laughs> and she didn't take her swatches off. So you can see the shades. We can see the shades. So it Hilarious. looks like there's sort of a reddy, orangish, like coral, coral shade. Yeah. Um, potentially like a mid-tone rose and a what nude. I think will be a nude. That's um, so funny. You should just show them in the first place and be like, look, these are coming. I'm super excited for yeah. summer or something yeah. like that. Like not, anyway. Yeah. Good. I'm glad that backfired because that is funny. It's funny. Yeah. All right, we've got some new limited edition Cans L'Oreal lipsticks. Right. Cool. Now these packaging, the packaging looks similar to the Balmain. Yeah. Um, but they've got little cool imprints yeah. on the tubes. They so look two nice. shades. Yeah. Um, and I'm not too sure when they're out or anything, but it looks like it's yeah. There you go. Cool. There is also a new palette. Uh, it looks like this one's called Very Much Love. Yeah. Uh, 16 shades and it is supposed to be scented yeah so once again l'oreal didn't show much about this they and this is a problem like you know we go based on what we can gather and what yeah. the public has unfortunately we don't have much insider information mm. okay so what they said was our new eyeshadow eye palette is making its entry on the red carpet meet the very much love palette um, and that's all it's saying so Fuck did yeah, I know? We don't know anything about this and the PR companies won't send us in any information, so you get bubkiss. Yeah, but what <laughs> do we think of the shades? Um look, I don't I'm not interested in it. Look, I I don't I don't dislike it. I think for a drugstore brand, I think this is probably a nice palette to have because uh you've got the nudes and then you've got a bit of smokiness, a little bit of colour. Um and once again it's sort of on trend ish yeah i just don't think these colors knowing the l'oreal formula i don't yeah. think they'll translate on the eye that's... and it end up just looking wish-washy yeah. so that's exactly how yeah. i feel about it also it's too pink for me i'm not into yeah. that it's not it's it's autumn here so i'm not feeling like i want to wear pink eyeshadow although <laughs> no you're wearing like a rosy it's color. a rosy oh, color really? yeah <laughs> but yeah look i just look you know, it's a shame. I like L'Oreal as a brand, but I have no confidence in their eyeshadow palettes. I have used a lot over them of them over the last, I don't know, like six years, mm -hmm. and I'm constantly disappointed by them. Yeah. So I just I find it really difficult to get behind it. And you know, the more they bring out, I'm sure eventually they'll get better and better with time. But yeah. I feel that like and I don't I don't know if this is correct. Like I okay, L'Oreal, mascaras, base products, yep. stuff like that. Yeah. 
totally supporting. Absolutely. Great, great foundations. Yeah. Nice lipsticks. Nice lipsticks. Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, no shade. No, no. Of but I feel not. like what brands tend to do, drugstore brands, big drugstore brands, is they feel like the average consumer won't know how to use pigmented eyeshadows. Yes. So they purposefully tone them tone down. Tone them down. And shear them out and make them wish washy because they're like, okay, Aunt June <laughs> yeah. won't know how to use a really pigmented pink, yeah. but a really wishy washy pink that you can barely show on the eye. She can handle that. Yeah. That's which, what I feel like. Which completely alienates people like me from the brand when it and comes me, to their well. eyeshadows. Correct. Because I'm like, I will never, like, if I try and use this, I will throw it in rage. I'll be yeah. like, where is the pigmentation? Yeah. Where is that beautiful, almost periwinkle blue, purpley shade yeah. in the top right corner? That's got to be duochrome magic. Why others. I'm not isn't interested. that like a punch of color yeah. on my eyelid? I agree. 100%. If agree. it's wishy washy, I'm like, we, we don't do wishy washy makeup in this household. Okay. Not in the Beauty News HQ. Uh-uh. 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 We like our pigmentation. <laughs> we do. Yeah. But look, there are going to be, be people who like this. And so... Awesome. Yeah. Keep your doing good your good... Yeah. yeah. Go. Right. Keep yeah. doing it. Keep doing it. Um, something from Mac. This is the Prep and Prime Pore Stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we said a unison bomb. We did. We uh, did. All right. Uh, we don't know when it's releasing or what it will cost. But if you like pore sticks, yeah, Mac has you covered. <laughs> uh, and from Mark Jacobs, these are coming on May thirty first, so very soon. These are going to be glossy lipsticks. Mm -hmm. So these are meant to be kind of like a lip gloss, but in a solid stick form. But these do look very, very glossy. They do. They look nice. They look, look, dead set. I feel like the description, solid lip gloss, I'm yeah. like, yeah, because they think, look like lip gloss watches. I think you smashed that out of the park, Mark Jacobs. I think that's great though, because yeah. I love a good, once again, I love a good nude lip gloss, that shiny, like if you're wearing no makeup makeup and you've just got that little bit of, um, hydration and shine yeah. and a bit of color just to make your lips look kind of healthy this is great i'll totally yeah. try it i like it i'm totally down all right we've got some nas news that uh -huh. we alluded to last we week we did we did um we have a new mascara and what's it called <sighs> climax mascara so when you have your orgasm yeah you also have your climax yeah it's better than sex <laughs> Yeah, it is. Because sex, you don't all, all always climax. Exactly. So this is better than sex. This is better sex. than sex. <laughs> this is a climax mascara. Yeah. All right. Oh, so it's supposed fuck. to be dr uh, dramatic, volumizing mascara. Yeah. There you go. Drama that builds. <laughs> it does indeed. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, dear. Okay. We also have some vinyl lip lacquers. These are coming in June. And they're available for pre-order um, at Barney's New York. Nine shades have been shown, which you're seeing here. I really, I kind of like them. I like them. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to be twenty-six US dollars each and limited edition. They're saying it's a smooth, creamy formula that drenches lips with intense color and mirror-like shine. It's got a two-sided applicator. Mm. Uh, one is a plush side that deposits the ideal amount of color and a smooth side that evenly distributes and intensifies shine. We have a new product here from Ol Henriksen. This is a cold plunge pore mask. Um, this is supposed to help with dealing with like shine, purifying pores, um, and I think potentially it's cooling. I'm excited. It looks in once again the color the gets color me. The color is sick. I the love color the color. The color gets me. That's a color that I've decided if it's in any skincare, I'm like, I want I it. I want it. Yeah. That and watermelon. <laughs> this is supposed to um, control oil for up to eight hours, oh. which is interesting. That'd be great if you're going to like an event or something. Yeah. Um, and it's supposed to smells and feels delicious on the skin. Yep. Yeah, what does it smell like? Oh, snow, snow lotus. lotus extract. Mmm. Well, it looks great. Yeah, I'm down. Their whole Instagram account is blue at the moment, and I'm just like, fuck I'm, yeah. I'm living for it. I love I'm it. I'm living for I it. I love it. 
All right, now we've got something that is very controversial. Oh, uh, it's from it Peridot Cosmetics. Mm. Um, and these are new loose gemstone highlighters. Mm-hmm. What is annoying people about these, and I totally feel them, mm-hmm. um, is the fact that this is a loose powder. And instead of something like the Meteorites by Guerlain that are little balls of highlighter mm. or powder, yeah, these are pa- three grams of powder that uh, have just been thrown in with fake gemstones. Yeah. Now, these aren't even like rose quartz or something that you can like display mm. later on after you've used your measly three grams. It might be legit rose quartz, but I'm not going to say it's high quality because they've got the holes drilled in them for, for junk jewelry. Junk jewelry. Yeah. So. And also, I'm going to say this about quartz type products. They're using gemstones and shit. I'm like, shut up. You make yourself sound bougie. Quartz is. It's so cheap, guys. It's a rock. It's so, so, so cheap. Yeah, so there's five shades of those, and uh, look. It just seems like unnecessary bulk. And if you, we were having a quick look and you can buy sort of like 500 grams of these stones for like $30 in Australia. So I would say that your main thing that you're paying for is the random stones. So these are being released in June and they're currently available for pre-order, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a gimmick. Yeah. It's a gimmick. It is a gimmick and it's not really one that. Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm not I picking up it. what you're putting down. Nope. 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 Sure, Maura. Um, they are bringing out a permanent range of cushion blushes. Now, this has come from their Japanese Twitter, so this is very fresh. Um, and it looks like they'll be coming between June and August ish. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's four shades. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of information, but they look really nice. Juicy oh. Bloom on the go. Yep. Um, Spectrum Makeup Cosmetics. Spectrum, the blush people. Um, they have released... Uh, brush people. The brush people. Yep. They've released a Sweetheart set, which is a brush collection. Five-piece mini brush set in a gorgeous pastel pink velvet heart bag with rose gold, gold detailing for... You'll never guess it. The uh, royal wedding. I I don't think Meghan Markle would be down with this. No. I think she's got a lot more taste. They've than that. called it the exclusive sweetheart set. Mm. Oh, you've got to capitalise on something, hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why oh, not? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, Violet Voss have released new liquid lipsticks. These have a mousse finish. Mm-hmm. Um, they're matte, long-wearing, opaque, uh, $12 each. It looks like there's 10 shades. Mm-hmm. Uh, they created a collage of nine, so I don't know what's going on. No. Um, but they, yeah, they all have a matte finish, but one of them looks like it's got a metallic sort of um, shimmer in it. Mm-hmm. So uh, there you go. If you like them, go check them out. Excellent. Last thing from YSL, these are the full matte shadows. So there looks to be 10 shades and I believe they are a liquid eyeshadow product that dries matte. All right, it has come to that time to... Emoji as well before we forget. Oh, that's right. Oh, (laughs) crap. How about a gun? (laughs) Let's do a diamond because if you're going to put fucking stones in my makeup, it's going to be diamonds. diamonds. Right. Um, and um, we do need... So, yeah, emoji, if you missed that conversation. Diamond. Diamond for yeah. the gemstones. Yes. How they should have been. Yes. Um, and we do have Beauty News VIP of the week or episode. Yes, of the episode. Of the episode. Yeah. Who is it? Shannon! We see you. We see you. You're around. You're everywhere. You are everywhere. Yeah, I love Shannon. <laughs> and I love it because, yeah. you know, you really... Warms my heart. You really get to know, like... The same people. You yeah, see them cool. all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, so thank you so much thank for you so much, Shannon. supporting our channel. We yes. love you. This episode Mwah. is dedicated to you. Thank you. And we'll see you guys someday. Soon. Monday? Monday. Maybe. Yeah. Monday. Cool. All right. We're going. All right. Bye. Bye.